Hi, today we're going to make a larger batch of cat food using our raw meow mix. Now as I've shown you before, uh, one meal is 45 grams of meat and one scoop of powder. So we're going to make that easy today. We're just going to times that by 10. So I have 450 grams of meat here. We've got 150 grams of roux. I'm going to put that in the bowl. And 150 grams of chicken. And we have 150 grams of lamb tongue, which is a bit of a different meat. The uh, tongue is actually muscle meat. Um, very, very high in taurines. It's a hardworking muscle. Uh, cheap, so it's a well-priced meat. So we're gonna add that, 150 grams. So we've got 450 grams of meat. I have pre-weighed this. So that's 30 grams of raw meow mix, which is 10 scoops. So 10 times 45 grams of meat is 450 grams of meat. 10 times three grams, which is one scoop, is 30 grams. Now today, we're gonna mix that using bone broth. Um, you can make your own bone broth. Uh, we've got links on our website on how to do that. Bone broth is an excellent addition to a cat's diet um, and also makes it nice and tasty. So we're going to mix our raw meow mix using some bone broth. It doesn't matter where you mix it. I find it easier to mix it separately from the meat. It's a little bit less messy this way. So I've just added just enough to make it into a paste. Make sure you mix it nice and properly. Okay, so now we can add that to the meat. Make sure you get all of it. And then we're gonna add a little bit more bone broth. I'm just gonna wash this out because I'm going to reuse this container. So the amount of liquids that you use is completely up to you. My cats like it a little drier. Some cats like it nice and soupy, so that's completely up to you. That's what it looks like there. I'm just gonna mix that all together. Once you freeze this, the raw meow mix will actually become a little bit thicker. So what you can do is add a little bit more water at meal times. So that's our batch there. 450 grams of meat, plus 30 grams of raw meow mix, plus enough water or bone broth to make the sauce, to coat all of the pieces of meat. What you would do then is portion it. So I've just got our small containers here. I'm just gonna portion that out. You can weigh that up, obviously. Two days of food, so however many cats you have. I have three cats. Two days of food for them is about 600 grams. So I use much larger containers than this. You don't want to keep the meat or the meals in your fridge any longer than two days. So we're just going to portion that up fairly evenly. Make sure you've taken everything out of there. You don't leave any sauce behind. Pop the lids on, and in the freezer it goes. That can keep in your freezer for six months. You could do a month of food in one lot. You could do a week of food. You could do three months worth of food. It just depends on what you feel like doing.